What's up, y'all? This is my yeah. This is my human physiology uh, immune system part two of the slides, and I'll dive right into it. Comment, like, subscribe. That really helps my videos out. Hope y'all do. Um, either way, uh, whether you don't hit the like button or you just like it on your own in your own head. Uh, specific immunity equals antigens and antibodies. Specific immunity equals antigens and antibodies. Antigens are molecules that stimulate the production of antibodies. Combined specifically with antibodies produced, immune system distinguishes self antigens from non-self antigens and typically mounts a response against non-self antigens. Antigens are molecules that stimulate the production of antibodies. Combined with specifically, combined specifically with antibodies produced, antigens combined specifically with antibodies produced, antigens combined specifically with antibodies produced, the immune system distinguishes self antigens from non-self antigens and typically mounts a response only against non-self antigens. <clears throat> Major histocompatibility complex, MHC. This is a fancy name for the markers I said we find on our own cells. Class 1 of MHC are found on all body cells except mature red blood cells because they do not have a nucleus. Uh, MHC class 2 are found on uh, are found only on cells that have taken up foreign antigens and presenting that antigen on their surface. Major histocompatibility complexes, or MHC, this is a fancy name for the markers I said we find on our own cells. MHC class one are found on all uh, body cells except mature blood cells. Uh, MHC are not found on red blood cells because they do not have a nucleus. MHC class two are found only on cells that have taken up a foreign antigen and are presenting that antigen on their surface. Haptins, a small organic molecule that can become antigens if they bind to your proteins. The binding of foreign haptins to a person's own proteins can cause the protein, uh, the proteins to be attacked. Uh, example equals adverse penicillin reactions. Haptins, uh, small organic molecules that can become antigens if they bind to your proteins. The binding haptins are binding, uh, the binding of the foreign, uh, the binding of the foreign haptins to a person's own protein can cause the proteins to be attacked. Example, adverse penicillin reactions. Immunoassay. Immunoassay using agglutination technique, antibodies attached to latex particles, latex particles uh, plus antigens, or anti-X antibodies, agglutination clumping of that latex particles. To assay means to look for reaction just like we did the blood typing experiment. Immunoassays, antigen antibody complex reaction produces clumping agglutination. Agglutination can be used to assay a variety of antigens. To assay means to look for a reaction just like we did with the blood typing experiment. Immunoassays, uh, antigen antibody complex reaction produces clumping agglutination. Agglutination can be used to assay a variety of antigens. Uh, to assay means to uh, look for a reaction, just like we did with the blood typing experiment. Where we are, immunity equals nonspecific and specific. Immunity equals nonspecific and specific. Immunity equals nonspecific and specific. We have nonspecific immunity and specific immunity. Nonspecific immunity and specific immunity. 
uh, non-specific or external and internal, non-specific, external and internal, non-specific, external and internal, internal, uh, non-specific, phagocytosic, fever, interneurons, internal, uh, or non-specific, internal uh, immunity is phagocytosis, fever, and interneurons, uh, specific lymphocytes, immunity, uh, T, we have T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, lymphocytes immunity, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Uh, lymphocytes are a type of white blood cells derived from stem cells in the bone marrow, replaced themselves by cell division so stem, stem cell, cell population is not depleted. Lymphocytes seed the thymus, spleen, and lymph nodes producing self-replacing populations in these organs. Lymphocytes are a type of white blood cell. They are derived from stem cells in the bone marrow. They replace themselves by cell division. Uh, lymphocytes replace themselves by cell division so the stem cell population is not depleted. Lymphocytes seed the thymus, spleen, and lymph nodes producing self-replacing populations in these organs. Uh, T lymphocytes. Lymphocytes that seed the thymus become T lymphocytes. They look different and function differently than other lymphocytes. Do not secrete antibodies that will bind with antigens. Must come in close or a direct contact with foreign cells to destroy them. Cell that that is cell mediated immunity when they come in close contact to destroy foreign cells. T cells are 65 to 85 percent of the lymphocytes in blood and in the lymph nodes and spleen. T lymphocytes, lymphocytes that seed the thymus become T lymphocytes. Lymphocytes that seed the thymus become T lymphocytes. Uh, T lymphocytes, they look different and function differently than other lymphocytes. T lymphocytes do not create antibodies that will bind to an with antigens. T lymphocytes must come in close contact or direct contact with foreign cells to destroy them. Equals cell mediated immunity when they come in direct contact with foreign cells cell mediated immunity. T cells are 65 to 85 percent of the lymphocytes in blood and in the lymph nodes in spleen. Uh, note, thymus astrophes after puberty. That means they uh, disappear after puberty. Thymus uh, disappears after puberty. Colonies of T cells in the lymph nodes and other organs produce T cells under stimulation of thymus hormones while we are young. And then these nodes and other organs continue to produce T cells on their own once the thymus hormones are gone. Thymus astrophies after puberty. That means it dis thymus disappears. Uh, colonies of T cells in the lymph nodes and other organs produce T cells under stimulation of thymus uh, hormones while we are young. And then these nodes and other organs continue to produce T cells on their own once the thymus hormones are gone. Note, uh, lymphocytes that are not T lymphocytes are known as B lymphocytes or B cells. T cells attack cells near them. B cells provide humoral immunity, releasing antibodies into the blood where they can travel to the target. Note, uh, lymphocytes that are not T lymphocytes are known as B lymphocytes or B cells. T cells attack the cells near them. B cells provide humoral immunity releasing antibodies into the blood where they can travel to the target. Three types of T-cells are killer T-cells, helper T-cells, and suppressor T-cells. Three types of T-cells are killer T-cells,
help her T cells and suppress her T cells. We got kill her T cells, kill her T cells, kill her T cells, help her T cells, help her T cells, help her T cells, suppress her T cells, suppress her T cells, suppress her T cells. Kill her cytoxic T cells. Destroy cells with antigens on their surface. Must be in actual contact with their victim cells. Defend against viral and fungal infections. Secrete preforins. Uh, T cells, cytokines. Killer T cells secrete perforins. Perforins form a cylindrical channel through the attack cell's membrane, causing the cell to slowly die. Killer cytoxic T cells. Destroy the cells with antigens on their surface. Uh, they must be in actual contact with their victim cells and defend against viral and fungal infections. Uh, killer cytoxic T cells defend against viral and fungal infections. Killer cytoxic T cells secrete preforins. Preforins uh, form cylindrical channels through the attack cell's membrane, causing the cell to slowly die. Helper T cells indirectly participate in immunity by regulating the response of both killer T cells and B cells. B cells must be activated by helper T cells before they produce antibodies. Helper T cells indirectly participate in immunity by regulating the response of both killer T cells and B cells. B cells uh, must be activated by helper T cells before they produce antibodies. Suppressor T cells indirectly participate in the specific immune response. Inhibit uh, suppressor T cells inhibit T cell and B cell uh, activities. Suppressor T cells affect the amount of antibodies secreted. Suppressor T cells moderate immune response. Suppressor T cells indirectly participate in specific immune responses. Uh, suppressor T cells inhibit T and B cell activities. Suppressor T cells affect the amount of antibodies secreted. Suppressor T cells moderate immune response. Uh, if we didn't have suppressor T cells, we'd get too much stuff in the extracellular spaces or whatever. Uh, destruction of T lymphocytes. Activated T cells must be destroyed after infection has cleared. T cells produce a surface receptor called FAS. Production of FAS increases during the infection. Activated T cells also begin to produce FAS ligand. FAS binds to FAS ligand and triggers apoptosis cell suicide. This can happen on the same cell or on other cells. Destruction of the T lymphocyte. Activated T cells must be destroyed after infection has cleared. T cell cells produced surface receptors called FAS. Production of FAS increases during infection. Activated T cells also begin to produce FAS ligand. FAS binds to FAS ligand and triggers apoptosis, cell suicide. This can happen on the same cell or on other cells. Cytokines that regulate the immune system are uh, interleukin-1, interleukin-2, interleukin-3, and interleukin-4. The cytokines that regulate the immune system are interleukin-1, interleukin-2, interleukin-3, and interleukin-4. Interleukin-1 secreted by macrophages in other cells. Uh, interleukin-1 secreted uh, activates all T cells. Interleukin-1 secreted by macrophages in other cells and activates all T cells. Interleukin-2 released by helper T cells activates killer T cells. Interleukin-2 released by helper T cells activates uh, killer T cells. Interleukin-3 stimulates the proliferation uh, proliferation of bone marrow stem cells. Interleukin-3 stimulates the proliferation of bone marrow stem cells. Interleukin-4 secreted by T cells 
required for proliferation and clone development of B cells. Interleukin-4 secreted by T cells required for proliferation and clone development of B cells. This is cytokines. How they regulate the immune system. B lymphocytes processed in the bone marrow. B lymphocytes uh, function specific in immunity. B lymphocytes, uh, B cells combat bacterial infections as well as some viral infections by secreting antibodies into the blood and lymph that will bind to antigens there. B lymphocytes provide hum hum uh, humoral immunity. Blood and lymph are body fluid humors. B lymphocytes produce uh, or B lymphocytes are, uh, are processed in the bone marrow. B lymphocytes function in specific immunity. B cells combat bacterial infections as well as some viral infections by secreting antibodies into the blood and lymph that will bind to antigens there. B lymphocytes provide humoral immunity. Blood and lymph are body fluids, humors. Get through B lymphocytes when activated uh, stimulate uh, production of memory cells important in active uh, immunity the next time we are exposed to the same antigen we already have the cells we need to produce the antibody we don't have any delay in being able to fight and the production of plasma cells uh, B lymphocytes has to do with the production of plasma cells. Uh, protein factories that produce around 2,000 antibody proteins per second when exposed to antigens. These antigens may be isolated molecules or may be molecules that at the surface of an invading foreign cell. B lymphocytes, when activated, stimulate uh, production of memory cells important in active immunity the next time we are exposed to the same antigen we already have the cells we need to produce the antibody we don't have any delay in being able to fight uh, b lymphocytes has to do with the production of plasma cells uh, which are protein factories plasma cells are protein factories that produce around 2000 antibody uh, proteins per second when exposed to antigens. These antigens may be isolated molecules or may be molecules at the surface of an invading foreign cell. Uh, B lymphocytes stimulates the production of plasma cells. Uh, plasma cells are protein factories that produce around 2,000 antibody proteins per second when exposed to antigens. Wow. B lymphocytes are stimulated to become plasma cells and memory cells. B lymphocytes are stimulated to become plasma cells and memory cells. B lymphocytes are stimulated to become plasma cells and memory cells. Plasma cells and then the memory cells kind of hang out uh, outside the flow. The plasma cells are in the flow. Antibodies. Antibody proteins are also known as immunoglobulins. Different antibodies have different structures because they have specific actions. Antibodies, antibody proteins are also known as immunoglobulins. Different antibodies have different structures because they have specific actions. Uh, for example, only know these. Antibodies, we got immunoglobin, IgG, IgA, IgE, IgM, and IgD. Antibodies, immunoglobulins are IgG, IgA, IgE, IgM, and IgD. Uh, immunoglobulins are the proteins all right um immunoglobulins 
uh, immunoglobulin IgG functions to maintain uh, functions main IgG main form of antibody in circulation production increases after immunization secreted during secondary response immunoglobin IgG main form of antibody circulate circulation production increased after immunization secreted during secondary response immunoglobulin IgA uh, main antibody type in external secretions such as saliva and mother's milk immunoglobin IgA main antibody type in external secretions such as saliva and mother's milk IgE uh, immunoglobin IgE responsible for allergic symptoms in immediate hypersensitive reactions immunoglobin IgE responsible for allergic symptoms in immediate hypersensitive reactions immunoglobin IgM uh, functions as antigen receptors on lymphocyte surface prior to immunization secreted during primary response immunoglobin IgM functions as antigen receptors on lymphocyte surface prior to immunization secreted during primary response immunoglobin IgD functions as antigen receptors on lymphocyte surface prior to immunization other functions known unknown immunoglobin IgD uh, functions as antigen receptors on lymphocyte surface prior to immunization other functions unknown immunoglobin IgG IgA IgE IgM and IgD antibody structures contain four interconnected polypeptide chains FAB regions are variable provide a specific bonding site for antigens uh, that's the antigen binding site FAB uh, and the FC region FAB region FC region antibody structure contain four interconnected polypeptide chains uh, FAB regions are variable uh, provide a specific bonding site for antigens that's the antibody structure uh, complement proteins the combination of antibodies with antigens does not cause destruction of antigens pathogens antibodies serve to identify targets for immunological attack marked targets activate the complement protein system against specific invaders complement proteins the combination of antibodies with antigens does not cause destruction of the antigens pathogens antibodies serve to identify the target for immunological attack marked uh, targets activate the complement uh, protein system against specific invaders complement protein system against specific invaders uh, that's what happens when they're marked uh, activated complement protein uh, MAC membrane attack complex forms large pore in cells membrane destroying the cell uh, activated complement uh, protein uh, direct destruction by uh, uh, MAC MAC vasodilation increased capillary permeability chemotaxis attract phagocytic cells opsonization form a bridge between phagocytic cells and victim cells facilitating phagocytosis activated complement proteins uh, MAC 
Membrane attack complex forms a large pore in the cell's membrane, uh, destroying the cell. Activate complex proteins, complement proteins. Uh, number one, direct destruction by MAC, vasodilation. Number three, increase uh, capillary permeability, chemotaxis, and opsonization. Chemotaxis attracts phagocytic cells. Opsonization uh, form a bridge between phagocyte cell and victim cell, facilitating phagocytosis. Uh, MAC membrane uh, equals membrane uh, attack complexes forms a large pore in the cell's membrane, destroying the cell. Activated complement proteins direct destruction by MAC. Number two, vasodilation. Number three, increased capillary uh, permeability. Number four, chemotaxis. Number five, opsonization. Chemotaxis attract phagocytic cells. Opsonization form a bridge between phagocytic cell and victim cell, facilitating phagocytosis. Vasodilation and increased capillary permeability bring in more phagocytes. Vasodilation and increased capillary permeability bring in more phagocytes in the active complementary protein uh, steps. Complementary protein types. There are 11 complement uh, proteins designated. C1 to C9 complement uh, proteins can be subdivided into three components. C1 recognition, recognition. C2 through C4, activation, C5 through C9, attack, complement, fixation. Complement types, there are 11 complement proteins. Designated C1 to C9 proteins. Uh, complement proteins can be subdivided into three components. C1, recognition, C2 through C4, activation, C5 through C9, attack, complement fixation active immunity when we fight things off ourselves primary response with the first exposure to a pathogen immune response insufficient to combat disease latent period of five to ten days before measurable amounts of specific antibodies appear in blood active immunity when we fight things off ourselves primary response with the first exposure to a pathogen immune response insufficient to combat diseases. Latent period of five to 10 days before measurable amounts of specific antibodies appear in the blood. Active immunity, secondary response, subsequent exposure to the same antigen. Antibody production is much more rapid. Maximum, uh, antibody concentration reaches uh, in less than two hours uh, maintained longer period of time maximum antibody concentration maintained for a longer period of time in secondary response of the active immunity uh, active immunity secondary response subsequent exposure to same antigen antibody production is much more rapid maximum antibody concentration is reached in less than two hours Maximum antibody concentration is maintained for a longer period of time in secondary response. The secondary response and primary response. See how the plasma antibody concentrations uh, reacts. Primary, secondary response. Primary response, secondary response. Uh, passive immunity. When we get immunized, immune protection produced by transfer of antibodies to a recipient from a donor. Donor has been actively immunized, occurs naturally in mother to fetus during pregnancy, mother to infant during nursing. Passive immunity when we get immunized. Immune protection produced by the transfer of antibodies to a recipient from a donor. Donor has been actively immunized, 
uh, occurs naturally in mother to fetus during pregnancy and mother to infant during nursing. That's it. Uh, part two of my uh, immune system slides. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch you on the next one, which should be the final review for the reproductive and the immune system uh, sections. Uh, I'll, I'll catch you later. See ya.